my name is Susan Baker, and I was born and raised in the state of Washington. I've lived here my whole life. I'm 52 years old. I went to the University of Washington. But Seattle's always been a very progressive and uh, liberal ideology city. What I've seen in Seattle over the last 30 years is this change to become more progressive and more liberal. And this state no longer takes care of the vulnerable, the mentally ill, the homeless, the sick, the downtrodden. And I've seen this grow. A lot of these people are down on their luck and they need assistance. And I think there's a balance between assistance and government handout and taking care of the most vulnerable and the sick and the mentally ill. I truly believe it's because of our failed policy and our failed leaders over the last 30 years. It's not safe downtown in our streets because you have the amount of homeless people living on the streets and mentally ill and they're, most of them are drug users. We also have a, a cleanliness issue. Seattle used to be beautiful and clean in the streets and you could walk to most areas and feel safe at any time of the day. That's no longer the case. And then, of course, the tax structure. I mean, the taxes are getting ridiculous. Our Seattle City Council has done absolutely nothing to entice businesses to stay or to move here and start businesses, nor have they done anything to help the issue of cleaning up the streets and helping the, helping the homeless. Watching the Seattle City Council and those that are newly elected in over the last five years has made it clearly obvious to me that I will never live in Seattle. I don't want to live in Seattle. And it's not worth the money you have to spend to be trapped into a, a high rise when you can't leave. There has been a profound effect on that Chaz Chop zone to Seattle. Definitely on the people who live there, live down in, in Seattle proper. I go down there, I'm up on an area called Pill Hill, Capitol Hill, which is exactly where the Chaz Chop zone was. That's where our hospitals are located and that's where I'm at daily. What it has done is it's created this acceptability. It's not unusual for the East Precinct of Seattle, which is located up there, to be terrorized or, you know, starting fires or doing graffiti. I mean, that's normal now. This kind of behavior is just unacceptable and there's no consequences for it anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that is where the violence is. That's where the, the unsafe measure is. And that's why people like myself don't want anything to do with Seattle. I can't name uh, enough people on my hands and toes that are leaving Seattle because they're just done. They're done with living there. They're done with the taxes and they're done with the sense of the um, unsafe and unrest.